In the previous lectures, we have discussed a few git log options that allow you to find, for example, commits made by specific author. Or you are able to use a keyword and find all commits that have this specific keyword somewhere in commit message or commit description. From this lecture on, I'll explain you some additional advanced git commands that actually modify git history. And that means that those commands are destructive commands. And uh, it is really, really important to understand how those commands work and uh, use them with caution. And my personal recommendation to you, please avoid using those commands on any public branches. And the public branch is usually either master branch or release branch or dev branch, like in our case in view repository. And uh, those branches are usually checked out by different people. And when you will modify history in those branches, it will lead to unexpected behavior of those branches on other computers. But on other hand, you are safely able to use those commands on private branches and the branches you are only currently working on, like any feature branch you are working on without any other collaborators. And the first command I want to talk about here is git reset. This command allows you to discard some committed changes. What I mean? For example, you have made uh, any commit, but you are not happy with those changes and you want to discard this commit or several commits and you want to get back to previous state of your repository. And that is possible with git reset command. And there are actually three options in this command. Hard, mixed and soft. And depending on those options, different changes will be applied in working directory, staging area and git repository. Ok, let's try git reset in action. And first, let's perform git pull operation in order to synchronize local and remote repository. git pull. And in my case, I'm already up to date. And let's enter git log. And please take note of this SHA-1 hash. It starts with fd0e. And the previous commit has this SHA-1 hash. And let's suppose that I want to reset the state of my repository to this commit. And in such case, this commit will be lost, will be discarded. And uh, let's do that using git reset command with this SHA-1 hash as option. Let me copy it and uh, let's close this and let's enter git reset and paste copied SHA-1 hash without any options. Press enter. And now I will see that there are unstaged changes. And if I'll enter git status, I'll see those changes here. And those two files are not staged for commit. And that means that by default, git uh, discards commit or commits. In our case, one commit was discarded and also unstages files. But changes were kept in working directory. It means that by default this operation is relatively safe. If you want to continue working on your changes, you can do that from this point on. But uh, commit was actually discarded and the changes from staging area were removed as well. And if I'll have a look at output of git log command, I'll see this commit as last one here in history. And now head points to dev branch, still points to dev branch and dev branch points to this commit in history. I can reset, for example, to this commit. Let me copy its SHA-1 hash, close this output and enter git reset and paste this SHA hash. And let's enter git log once again. And now this commit is last one in history. And that means that using git reset command, you are able to reset to any of the commits in history. And all next changes that were made after that commit in the history will be preserved in working directory. And uh, by default, git actually applies mixed mode operation. And with mixed mode, git discards commit and discards changes in staging area. But all changes are kept in working directory. And again, git status proves that. And uh, at this moment of time, we are able actually stage those changes and afterwards commit them again. Let's do that quickly. git add dot and let's enter git status again. Now two files are ready to be committed. Let's commit them. git commit dash m files were modified by Bogdan. 
enter. And if I'll have a look at history now, I'll see this new commit. And the two previous commits were disappeared. That's how you are able to perform reset operation and afterwards recommit changes and it will create brand new commit. Ok, that is default mode of operation mixed. Let's now try another option soft. Let's for example have a look again at history and let's revert back to this commit. Actually reset back to this commit, because reverting is other operation, we will talk about it later on in the section. Ok, let me copy this hash and enter git reset dash dash soft and paste this hash. Enter. Now you see that there are again changes in my repository and if I'll enter git status, you'll see that there are two files ready to be committed. It means that uh, with soft mode of operation, git discards only changes in git repository. It resets only commit, but changes are kept in staging area or index. And that means that uh, now I am able simply create another commit and uh, those changes are already present in staging area. Let's do that. git commit dash m changes recommitted after soft reset, like so. Enter. And now changes were committed again and uh, now there is additional commit here that starts with 57bc in my case. Ok, and now let's try last mode and the last mode is hard, hard reset. Let's for example reset uh, to this commit. Let me copy this SHA-1 hash and clear terminal and enter git reset dash dash hard and paste this SHA hash, enter. And now you'll see that there are no changes in git repository. And if I'll enter git status, you don't see any changes either in working directory or staging area. And that means that with hard option, git will reset commit, reset staging area and reset working directory. And that means that files that were changed after specific commit will be simply removed or updated back. And it is actually the most destructive options of all three options available with git reset command. So please use this option with caution. And if I'll enter git log, I'll see simply this last commit in history made by Katashin and uh, all further commits will be simply discarded. That is a git reset command. Please note again that this command is destructive and it actually modifies history. Now we don't see remaining commits after this one. But if I'll enter git pull and pull changes from remote repository, I'll actually get back all remaining commits that I have reset because my repository is actually clone of remote repository. And now in history, I'll see again all commits that I have resetted locally. And notice that I have actually used the reset operation on public branch, on dev branch, but I didn't push those changes to remote. And that means that uh, those destructive changes that I have made locally were not applied to public branch dev branch. But you are able safely use uh, git reset on any private branches, for example, if you have created additional branch and you are working on that branch yourself, solely yourself, and locally on your computer you are able to perform reset pretty safely. One more option that I wanted to show you here is that you are able to reset by specific quantity of commits. What I mean? Let me clear terminal and type git reset, then head, then wave sign and let's type for example 5 here. In such case, I'll reset five last commits. And again, by default, mixed option was applied and now those files listed here will be available here actually in working directory, but they were removed from staging area and from git repository. And if you want to continue work on them, you can do that and afterwards add those files to staging area and afterwards commit them if you want. Ok, that's the last option I wanted to show you here in this lecture. Let me actually revert my local repository back to the state synchronized with remote repository. And for that let me perform hard reset and let's for example reset to this commit. Let me copy this hash, git reset dash dash hard and paste this hash. And now let's perform git pull operation. And now local repository is synchronized again with remote repository. 
Let's now proceed and in the next lecture I'll explain you what is git revert command. Revert is not actually destructive operation and it creates new commit that actually discards changes from other commit. Okay, let's talk about git revert in the next lecture. Bye.